Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 19 May. Had some risk on overnight, then a retrace. Aussie N was uh, important for us, up to 37, back down to 88. Uh, here we are at 09. The daily close today is important. This is 61.8. 7018 daily close above this uh, and we shoot higher up to 7240 daily close below it uh, and it's another failure so we're watching this very very closely Aussie yen today euro cruised higher looks like a big started at the fix here um, move from 50 up to 13 and then we kept uh, we remain bid high has been 27 this is going to catch a lot of people by surprise we, we haven't been trading the euro here we were waiting for this uh, trend line to break not much to do here really but boy it looks pretty bad Next point's obviously uh, 11021. We'll have to see. Sterling shorts got caught here. I think they're going to continue to get caught. There should be stops above 12250 today. Um, Sterling longs look okay, just on sort of the squeeze play. Euro yen doji. On Friday, up through 116.20. We never saw that again. We all remember 117.77, right? This was the month end fix highs and the insanity, and the insanity uh, bar there. There's going to be risk above 117.77. Czar, like a lot of its counterparts in EM, appreciate it a little bit but can't really get out of its own way this this could start to get a little bit of uh, energy perhaps if we have a big dollar sell and we have a continued massive risk on uh, through 1803 that's like a key po point there Aussie kind of let us down right that moved back down to 90 and Aussie again pissed us off. Um, we got to see what happens in Aussie above 70. Uh, so we've printed the 70 high. We've printed the 63 high. Today we printed the 52 high. I bet if you do this, it looks pretty good. Let's see if Topside Aussie has any legs. Aussie N we talked about. We added some longs Aussie N through 18, but then we got stopped out on that move down to 88. So we're a little bit jaded about this. Not only did we lose sleep, just bullshit stop run got us, but such is the life in FX. CAD yen, you can imagine what this is doing. As oil shoots higher and equities higher, CAD yen is higher. 77.26 is the important point, 30 points away. I think dollar CAD is ready to go. Obviously, a big down day yesterday. Made a marginal new low today, but. Kind of looks like this um, 138.50s in the cards this week. Of course, all of these trades depend on this guy here. S&Ps. Traded right up to that double top. 66, I think it was 64.75 the high. If you're core short, you can move your stop to this point here. Uh, even though the 200-day is at uh, 3,000, 
we get through this point today, 29.65. Um, we got more upside to go. So this will be a very, very interesting moment, 29.66. If you still long Aussie yen, this is the number to watch, right? Through 29.66 means risk on, so your CAD yen's probably in play, your Aussie yen's probably in play. This is an odd one that we like. We were looking at it last week, and we kind of put it down. The CAD Swiss up through uh, 69.90. Now we have a triple top there. It's kind of the really important number is sort of. 70.34, but we find that um, oddly beautiful. Cad Yen. I mean, not Cad Yen, Cad Swiss. Um, let's check out Gold. Lucy. Lucy has the football. We talked about it on Twitter yesterday at 17.60. After Powell, all the tourists came in and bought gold. Everyone who wasn't long. Um, and so now we've bearish engulfed at the highs. <clears throat> we've been kind of waiting um, for gold to do some sort of screw job. I'm pretty sure that screw job is like down to like 1685. So right now, actually, core short looks good for gold. Um, that was a tactical trade for us yesterday, so we, we're square again gold, but looks like the market's going to get squeezed. Again, everything everything depends on 29.65 uh, in, in, in S&Ps, in the E-mini futures. Here's crude donated to the crude loss fund yesterday trying to be short crude's like a minkia fucking minkia crude I don't know why I even bother with that shit I suck at it don't understand it I don't understand it at the level you need to understand it to make money so note to self stop trading crude you asshole Anyway, crude did what it did. I don't really understand it. You should be looking at the July contract anyway. I don't, you know, Thursday this thing, this thing shifts. Um, as a proxy though, helps your Euro Norway shorts, which is nice. Um, helps your dollar Norway shorts, which we're no longer short dollar Norway. We should actually relook at that because this, this, um, this euro dollar move, but we, <laughs> we kind of forgot about that yesterday. But anyway, core short euro Norway is still the same, same deal. Um, anyway, uh, we're watching S&Ps today, 29.66, we're 20 handles away, uh, watching news about vaccines and and watching price action and the pharmaceutical business that could give you kind of a heads up even before the news comes out as to where we are on vaccines um, so you want to have a have a proxy of, of pharmaceuticals out there um, you know Moderna or whatever that uh, whatever that company is and uh, Roche and Sanofi keep those up on your uh, desk today and when you see that stuff flicker it could be an early call on risk um, and then watch the news and then of course watch ES price important important week this week see what happens above 29.66 good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow